Welcome to the last instalment of FMTV ahead of the release of Football Manager 2018 on November 10th. My name is Joe Tomlinson and today we'll be running through some of the changes to the transfer market in FM18. We'll also take a look at improvements to board interaction and how your performance as a manager will be judged more realistically this year. Let's start with transfers. In real life, we've seen a huge increase in the value of transfer fees over the past couple of seasons, and you'll see these inflated fees and contract values reflected in Football Manager 2018, of course. Several new transfer, contract and loan clauses have been added to reflect the volatile modern transfer market. The way you can make instalment payments on transfers has been changed to reflect real life better. Payments can now be made every six months rather than annually with three instalments allowed. This is something that real clubs use to comply with financial fair play restrictions, so the option should be there for you too. The loan market has also been updated to include additional clauses that clubs use when structuring these short-term deals. For instance, there's the new option to loan a player until the next transfer window opens. There's the option to include a bonus for a competition achievement too. There's a couple of new additions in FM18 surrounding minimum fee release clauses, which are rapidly becoming one of the most used contract clauses in world football. You can now set an expiry date on a minimum fee release clause, and you can also include separate minimum fee release clauses for foreign and domestic clubs as part of the same contract offer. Whilst we're talking contracts, you can now have multiple types of the same clause in a contract. Want to specify salary changes for players after both 15 matches and 30? That's not a problem in FM18. These clauses are available for appearances and goal bonuses. You can also have multiple clauses in transfer offers. The AI managers will also make more intelligent decisions regarding transfers in FM18. They place a greater emphasis on a player's recent form when looking through potential signings, meaning that players that have had unexpectedly good seasons will be more likely to catch the attention of the bigger clubs, as has been the case in recent years in real life. The AI around squad building has also improved, with AI managers looking at both long-term and short-term needs for their squad, whilst the bigger clubs might only look at superstars and potential youth stars as long as they have enough homegrown players. They'll now look to recruit more players that can slot straight into the first team and move some of their existing first teamers down to rotation roles if necessary. This makes for a much more competitive transfer market and ensures the AI can not only compete against you for the biggest deals, but at every level of transfers. Another improvement on the AI in the game and something that is used throughout the game by AI managers, boards, the media and the fans via social media is the introduction of league performance tracking. This is a major new innovation in the way that your performance is judged throughout your career. Instead of just referring back to your club's expected finishing position at the start of the season, the new league performance tracking will take more contextual information into account to create a more three-dimensional picture of the season you've had. For example, if you find yourself mired in a relegation battle and lead your club to safety, you'll find your managerial support amongst the dressing room increase and you may have more sway when making requests to the board. Your performance will also be talked about in the press and across social media, with journalists referencing it in news items and fans will be more opinionated towards you on social media posts. So that's it from FMTV. All that remains now is to get stuck into Football Manager 2018 when it releases on November 10th. There are lots of other new and improved features that we haven't revealed yet, so keep an eye on the Football Manager Twitter account. Other features we've left for you to discover yourselves when you finally get your hands on the game. I've been Joe Tomlinson. Thanks so much for watching.